Ladies and gentlemen, raise you to the roof. My name is Connor Doyle. Welcome back to the channel. So excited for each and every one of you guys to be back with me here today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some more music stuff. And today I made it a goal. This song I am not particularly fond of, and I don't support the artist. Um, the song is Gooba by Takashi. Uh, my goal was to make it into a pop song because I don't like I don't like the original song itself too much so I kind of wanted to make it into something that maybe I would listen to or whatever so that's what I did and I attempted to make it into a pop song and I'll show you guys what I did to do that and then I'll let you guys listen to the final product so let's go over to FL Studio all right so we are in FL Studio right now and here is the layout of everything so basically I made um, the beat last night so I basically just copied the Gooba beat um, so I will play that for you guys obviously it's not gonna be exactly the same because I had to make it and I used like all stock plugins and so nothing's gonna sound the, like exactly like it is uh, in the actual song but I'll play the beat for you guys just so you can get an idea of kind of you know where I was at Assuming most of you guys have probably heard that song and heard that beat before, and I really enjoy the beat, so I kind of I wanted to make it a, a song out of it. I wanted to make a song out of it um, that wasn't just like the rap like uh, Takashi does. And so what I did, you know, obviously over here you can see all the vocals and stuff. So at the beginning, I kind of put like a sing-songy pop ballad, and I had some um, had some chords right here that I can play for you guys at the beginning. very very different from the uh, from the original song uh, itself obviously so and then I have some snaps in there so I can play this section for you guys real quick and this is the beginning to the to the pop I don't know what I've got to say to so obviously that's a little bit of obviously there's some effects on the vocals and stuff I have an octave split on that so that was kind of my introduction piece, and I kind of did that on purpose because I wanted uh, to like switch it. So basically, I start off really smooth and mellow, and then I come in with. Uh, say to Wait, hold on. This don't this don't feel right. Can we like switch it up a little bit or something? is basically like how hard something is being like articulated kind of thing um, and so if it was like really high velocity it would kind of sound like it sound like that kind of thing um, but I had to make it really low velocity because in the actual song itself it's super smooth and like legato all the notes and so it's not quite as legato as the actual song um, but I attempted as best as I could um, so it sounds like this a little bit of a little bit of feedback coming off off that um, and then for here it this is the the lower octave with the, it's a little bit of different effects just because of the octave a little less feedback there purely because the the frequency that are resonating are are just lower that's really the best way to describe it um, but regardless so I had that intro and then I had the or something low a coming okay. Kind of 
this stuff. And then the, uh, the other thing is this 8808 pattern, which is the bass noises that you hear in most songs, especially rap nowadays. It's literally the same note, except one note change, like right before the, the drum loop repeats again, then the 808 changes and it goes back down and then it, it's the same thing. Um, basically at this point guys, I'll just, I'll show you the vocals I put on it. Obviously it's not fantastic, um, but you know, it's, I thought it was pretty decent and this is basically, if Google was a pop song, what I think it should sound like. So I'm going to play it from the beginning so you guys can hear. I don't know what I've got to say to Wait, hold on. This don't, this don't feel right. Can we like switch it up a little bit or something? Hey. Okay. Yeah. Say you want no second chance, girl. How about I say? basically uh, the chorus part of you know what I thought that Gubo would sound like if it was a pop song um, and that's pretty much that so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed please in the comments let me know if you think I should finish the song or if you want to see uh, more in depth of how how I actually made the Gubo beat and like all the effects I put on it and what they do and stuff I definitely would be glad to do that because everything I use uh, stock plugins and FL studio it's pretty pretty uh, easy so I can show you guys how to do that but please uh, like share subscribe and see you guys next time